بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله هنبدأ النهاردة ان شاء الله نتكلم عن الجزء الخاص بالتدفقات النقدية المترتبة على تدفقات التجارة السلعية والخدمية وعلى تدفقات رؤوس الاموال الاكشن النهاردة هي بتخص الطلبة للفرقة الثانية في الانجليش سيكشن و قبل ما نبدا احب افكر حضراتكم ان اخر حاجه احنا درسناها كانت التريد ثيري في التريد ثيري احنا حاولنا نجاوب على الموست امبورتنت ثري كويستشنز كونسرنينج اباوت ذا ستراكشر ذا تيرمز اوف تريد اند ذا بينيفيتس فروم تريد النهارده ان شاء الله هنحاول نعرف الديفينيشن الكومبوننتس العناصر الأساسية لميزان المدفوعات وهنحاول نعرف الديفينيشن بمكوناته هنحاول نعرف التقسيم الرأسي والأفقي لميزان المدفوعات ونحاول نبدأ الجولة بتاعتنا في عناصر ميزان المدفوعات من أول الديفينيشن بإذن الله The first step to understand the balance of payments is to understand the definition. The balance of payments, the PAP, is a symmetric record of all economic transactions between residents of a country and residents in the other countries during a specific period of time, usually one year. In this slide, you see the most important points in our definition The first one is the economic transactions. The second is the residence. The third one is the time period. Yarit, كل واحد من الدارسين يقدر يفهم أهمية ال definition, أهمية terminology, لأن هو ده ممكن يكون سؤال أساسي لحضراتكم في ال final exam. إن أنا أعرف how to define the pop. The first important point in the definition is the economic transactions. Our concern here is the international economic transactions, as we are concerning about the transactions between the residents of a country and residents of the rest of the world. The second important point in the definition is the residence of the country. The residence of the country consists of individuals and institutions. تاني أهم نقطة في ال definition هي المقيمين. المقيمين لازم أعرف إن ال economic transactions اللي هي المعاملات الاقتصادية اللي إحنا قلنا عليها اللي هي يهمنا فيها إنها تكون international economic transactions لازم يكون ليها طرفين طرف منهم اللي هما residents المقيمين والsecond part is the residents in the rest of the world The most important transactions of international trade which must be included in the pop is the transactions of imports and exports of goods, services and of money. The most important rule to count and to record in the balance of payment mention that you have to understand that each transaction have an important an import value and an export value and so on for each transactions this point tell you that you have to take care and to understand that each transaction must be count in your records as two records And I think that you know that the rule of double counting is important here. The division of the balance of payment. The balance of payment is divided to uh, two parts vertically 
the positive and negative two sides and horizontally it's divided into main two points in some uh, text three points uh, our concern here is the two main divisions of the balance of payment the first part is the current account the current account او الحساب الجاري الحساب الجاري هو بيضم المعاملات الاقتصادية اللي بترتبط بال national income GDP during this year the current account is a record of all exports and imports of goods and services of a country in a year and so the current account is very important it is uh, autonomous it is the most important actions of the residents of the country in the previous slide we have mentioned that the current account concerns with exports and imports of the country the exporting of goods means that your country produce some products and sell them abroad on the other hand the imports of goods and services mean that your country purchase some products which was produced abroad and is sold in your country the trade balance the trade balance is a very important part of the current account and so is a very important part of the balance of payments the trade balance show how well the country does overall on visible trade during a certain period usually one year as mentioned before the trade balance is concerning about the exports and the imports of goods only the balance of trade or the trade balance اهم حاجه في السلايد دي ان انا عايز اعرف بس حاله الميزان التجاري عايز اعرف هو عنده حاله ايكوليبريم ولا حاله ديس ايكوليبريم لو انا عندي حاله ايكوليبريم ده معناها ان انا عندي التساوي ما بين الاكسبورتس والامبورتس لو انا عندي الاكسبورتس والامبورتس ار ايكوال فانا عندي حاله من البالانس او الايكوليبريم في الميزان التجاري لو انا عندي السكند كيس لو انا عندي ديستورشنز عندي اختلالات وعندي مشكله فالاختلالات او المشكله دي قد تكون حاجه من اتنين يا اما تكون سيربلس او ديفيسيت the most important two cases of the balance of trade is the case of surplus or the case of deficit the common case is the deficit but we have to mention the surplus which is the case of the minority of countries all over the world the country would have a balance of trade surplus of the value of its visible exports was greater than the value of its visible imports from abroad during one year it means that if your country export more and import less it means that your money inflow according to your exports is greater than your money outflow according to your imports the case of the majority of countries all over the world is the trade deficit case the balance of trade of a country would be in a deficit if its visible exports in money terms were less than its visible imports all over the year your country here suffer from a problem the trade deficit may be structural deficit according to your manufacturing sector 
according to your production sector and so on the capital account the capital account is the second important part of the balance of payments the capital account is a record for all flow of money between a country and the other countries for loans shares and investment in one year your country may get loans from other governments and from the world institutions كلنا عارفين طبعا ان الدول اللي بيكون عندها اختلال في الميزان الجاري وفي حساب العمليات الجارية هتواجه مشكلة فهيكون عليها مدفوعات مستحقة فبالتالي هتضطر تقترض من الدول او من الحكومات او من المؤسسات خارج حدود هذه الدولة ممكن انها تتعامل في الشيرز اللي هي الاسهم أو إنها تفكر إنها إزاي تجذب الـ investment الـ foreign direct investment or the foreign portfolio investment and so on The capital account management is very important The policy maker try to get the money and to make money go to the country but when the money leaves the country it's a problem so we have to know why money leaves the country money leaves the country when the government lends foreigners when residents persons or companies buy shares in foreign countries or when companies invest, invest abroad the policy maker in developing and developed countries try to make money enter the country when money enters the country we have main four reasons the governments borrows from foreign governments or banks so the money enters or the residents borrow from foreign banks and so on you have four reasons to make money enter your country for each policy maker we have to encourage the money to enter and to try to keep money in your country In this chapter, you have to learn the most important definitions, the most important terminologies for a study. The most important terminologies for a study are international transactions, export of goods, import of goods, visible trade and invisible trade. The balance of trade and the current account finally you have to learn the definition of the balance of payments for sure at the end of this lecture i hope to ask you to answer the choose question and to answer the question of fill in the space these are two important questions at the end of this chapter in your book i hope you the best wa ashufkum ala khair insha Allah wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah